Right, so here's a video that's been highly anticipated. I've been dying to make this myself for ages and ages, but I've just not had the chance to because, well, I'll, I'll explain in a second why. Um, basically, I've got the spring booster on the car. That's what this video is all about, as you know, for the title and thumbnail. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you and sort of not really testing it because I've had it on for like a month now. I'm just going to show you how it performs basically and sort of busting the myth of do they work. And I will definitely be answering that later on. Um, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. So I'm here, pulled over at one of my favourite photo shoot locations, unfortunately, on a rather cloudy, murky day. Um, unfortunately, we've lost all the good weather recently, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, how this works, so you've only got three buttons on here. Uh, you've got the main button here, which is a power button, as you can see there, it's now turned on and the light's green, and that's sort of like an eco mode, not full on mode, like sports, eco, whatever you want to call it. And this has settings up numbers one to nine. Um, I run mine on uh, the next setting to be honest and I'll get into one that what that is in a second um, this I've never really tried it in this but we're about to so I guess we, we can kind of still try it out um, and then there's another mode as well which is race mode when the light turns red and obviously it's turned all the way up to nine why wouldn't it be and I have tested it on this setting and my god it's brilliant on this setting the difference like you it's so noticeable eco 5 we'll see if it makes a difference there And I explained poorly before, I didn't um, actually add in what this does. Uh, what it does is it actually makes your throttle body open. Instead of sort of open like that, it sort of opens instantly. Sort of when you're in the max setting and this sort of alters it from zero to 100 if you like. That's the easiest way to explain it. Yeah, even in the low revs there, the car definitely does pick up a little bit quicker in sport eco mode. I can't actually remember what it is, truth be told. it does still pick up again and then second oh my god yes wow that is even that is like noticeably different and that's not even turned up all the way that's like one third at most of what this thing can do i'd say it's, it's pretty insane so wow that, that's quite interesting compared it to the uh compared to what i thought it would be like and to stock like if i do that stock like, it's, you certainly won't get the same feel, for sure. Yeah, it's still quick, don't get me wrong. You just, you can certainly don't get the feel that that gives you. So, I'm going to whip it back around now, because um, I'm not doing it on the world's worst road surface, and we'll go out and see it in race mode. One thing I will say, though, this thing, I'm glad I'm doing it when I've got a bit of fuel, and this is the reason why I've not done this video for about a month, and I've been sort of holding back on the channel, is because the fuel prices in this country as they have in the rest of europe and i'm sure the world as well so i know americans were complaining about it um it's gone through the roof it's stupidly expensive and to fuel this thing up it was costing me like 185 a liter that's why i've not been doing this video because this thing absolutely wolves the fuel like it just drinks 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 especially when it's in its top setting and that's why mainly i do run it off there is absolutely zero delay in putting your foot to the floor and feeling something like there would be when this stock. Like it really does take that delay of it away. It's, it's unbelievable. It was it was worth every penny of it, and it did cost me two hundred pounds. Um, it was on eBay, um, and yeah. Oh god, it makes this car like ten times better. And I'm, I'm not even joking, I'm, and I'm not being biased because it's my own car. It just does. I do genuinely love it to bits. I couldn't recommend this sort of thing enough, but I need to show you it when it's um, fully unleashed. So I, can't, I guess we'll have to uh, we'll have to go and do that somewhere. Oh, she does spin. That's one thing it does do as well. It makes the car spin up a lot more. And I wasn't going quickly then. That was just 
just the first game from like 10 mile an hour setoff. It just spins like crazy in these conditions. It's, it's damp, it's a little bit humid, kind of. I don't know how you'd describe it, it's just murky. The difference from stock is night and day. I'm not gonna lie. There's no other way to put it. It is night and day. I think that's a good enough reason to get one. It certainly was for me. Like I heard some good reviews and watched some people make videos about these and they sort of said similar to me, or the ones I watched did anyway. And yeah, it's, it really is true to life. So the question of does a sprint booster work? Yes, yes, it certainly does. This, along with my intake and exhaust, I think it all just goes so well. It just it adds to the noise and just like the whole experience of it as well. It just makes the car feel nicer. Even if you're not doing any form of spirited driving, it just makes it better, in my opinion. I am going to do um, more videos relating to this. I've got a whole, whole list of videos that I'm not going to say what they are yet, but I've made ideas for them. I've written down what they are, obviously. Um, and this thing is going to come into play in them quite a lot um, and that's all I'm going to say for now this is sort of just uh, on its own on the car what does it do what does it sound look and feel like video um, and we'll, we'll have another go in race mode number nine in a second once this uh, once the worst car ever made does vacate I think I've said all there is to say about it it's just it's just there straight away I think it sounds great let me know what you think of it and uh, would you buy one yourself in the comments because like I said um, multiple times probably throughout this video I would certainly recommend buying one of these things like it's transformed the feel of the car honestly like there's and there's, there's there is no more words I think I think hopefully this does it somewhat justice as to what it actually does um, if you want me to do anything else regarding this, let me know what you would like to see in the comments um, because I've just sort of thought of doing this, showing you what it's like. I'm not really sure between now and when I've got my other videos coming out what I can do with it. So if there's anything you guys think of, uh, just let me know. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you again next week.